about to get the night. So I gotta, I gotta see what it looks like. Yeah, you can do it. This is like, you have to see it. running high. Raucous crowd. We have the Halal Heat hosting the DRS Wildcats. Two very, very talented teams. Uh, Jack Zorta, you can feel the electricity in the air. There's a feeling in this gym that you don't feel during a regular season game. This is playoff basketball at Halal Yeshiva. Uh, the electricity here at Halal, you can cut it with a knife. Uh, the players are pumped up. Both teams, like the crowd's pumped up. You're talking about a 12 and 2 Hillel Heat team playing against a 10 and 4 DRS Wildcats team, which some say are just as good as any team in this league. Norman, this is going to be a cat fight. Now, don't be fooled by the 10 and 4 record by DRS because they were in a very, very tough conference. That other side of the bracket, they had teams like Hafter, they had teams like, uh, they had a few very, very strong teams. So 10 and 4 is actually a very, very impressive record. We're also talking about the Yeshiva League champions just a couple of years ago, 2015-16, and a couple of years before that, 2012-13. So they have a winning lineage in DRS. Absolutely, and that helps a lot, Norman. Coming in to a hostile environment here in Halal, the crowd is raucous to start, but the Wildcats have been here, and they are used to environments like this. Norm, uh, Tip off now, and Hello controls the tap. Okay, so Sutton with the ball, gives it over to Zakaria. Back to Sutton. Sutton calling for a play, very, very loud in the gym. Zakaria to the corner, elbow into Tobias, and Tobias off his leg. Turnover on the first play of the game. Tobias dribbled that right off his knee. Yeah, but I like Tobias' uh, aggressiveness. He was looking to take it to the basket. What she needs to do tonight? Norman, Sandy. I would like to see Tobias take the ball to the hole all night. They need him under that basket. They need him attacking that basket. Jojo Belinsky seems to be controlling the offense over here. He's swinging it back to Sipic inside. This is Brown up, and that's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Halal's ball. It's going to be Halal's ball. They run their offense between Brown, Belinsky, and Cyclic. Those are the three main players on this team. Um, that's who does the bulk of their scoring throughout the entire year. Zakaria now to Albaum. Albaum swinging it to Zakaria to Bite at the top of the key. That's another turnover. Three straight turnovers. Two by Halal, one by DRS. And there's going to be a back there. Look at Valinsky drive. That's off the bucket. Albaum unable to get the rebound there. That's an underpass to Bennett. Then it across. This is going to be Brown. Brown shoots. Nice layoff by Brown. He's coming to the baseline there. Seeing some early game jitters here from Hillel Heat. Well, two possessions and two turnovers. You have to say they have some jitters. It takes a couple of minutes to realize that this is just a basketball game. Yeah, and that's to be expected. Alabama now to Sutton. inside at the top of the key, controlling the ball. Sandy, it's imperative that Captain Sutton takes the ball. 
and calms down this team on offense. He's the straw that will stir this drink. Belinsky brings the ball up. Oh, he thought about shooting that ball for a second. Belinsky to Zach Brown, back to Belinsky, he shoots, and that's an air ball from Belinsky. All right, well, Norman, as you said, there's some, definitely some jitters in a row, but game's only two to nothing, couple of minutes in. Well, let me tell you something about Belinsky, by the way. He's a second half player, notoriously. Yes, um, last he, round, he scored 27 points. 25 of those 27 were in the second half. The was blocked by now, Tobias controls the ball. In the corner is a carry. Is a carry and now taking it to the basket. Lost and another back. turnover Third by Halal. Third turnover here in the in the early minutes. Very very sloppy offense by Halal. Fortunate to just be down two nothing. Nice passing. And that cyclic cyclic was fouled going up. He will go to the line for two shots. Fouls on Elbaum. Well, okay. the Halal crowd is definitely here. We haven't seen the gym like this in. I don't know how long, Norman. It's been a while. Steinberg misses the first of two. We've got one more. Hillel just needs that first bucket to go in. But guess what? They haven't, they've only taken one shot. Just that Elbaum jumper is the only shot they've taken because of three early turnovers. It's 3 nothing DRS. Sutton's calling a play. Hillel needs to set up and go to a play that they know is bread and butter for them in order to just get on the board and get everyone to calm down. Almost another turnover. Sutton saved that ball from going back court. Now he drives over to, over to Tobias. Tobias steps back. Thought about shooting it. Elbaum back to Tobias. He's driving. Great move. Norman, that's a great move. Go to the line for two. Tobias goes to the line for two shots. Okay, Halel gets on the board. Tobias hits the first. Guys, we spoke about this at the JV level. For some reason, Halel does not put any players on the line during their foul shots. Um, in comes Taco for Elbaum. Taco, of course, Morris Menegid, he's coming in for Elbaum. Take two foul shots there for Tobias, and now we have a 3-2 game. Five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Okay, Valinsky at the top of the key calling for the ball. He's going to pass it over to Zach Brown. Zach has a quick dribble. Nice jumper. No good rebound to Tobias. Nice in there with that rebound. Nice rebound. And now Sutton's going to push it. I love the way Tobias is attacking the basket on both sides of the court. He's got to do that tonight for this team to be successful. Sutton calling another play. He's a carry on the wing. Inside. Turnaround jumper. Tobias off the back iron. Rebound by Bennett. They're going to look to push, but they don't have the numbers. Hillel getting back on defense quickly. That's a nice block. <laughs> That's it. Very good transition D by Hillel. They got back. DRS was looking to run the ball. And that's the book on DRS. They will push the ball when they can. They will try to score easy, fast buckets. Zach Brown to the corner. Up top to Belinsky. They have a cutter in the middle. Norman, I love the way Hillel's playing defense. Oh, and Valinsky, a beautiful deep three-pointer. That extends their lead to four. Six-two DRS. Here's Zakaria. That's a nice drive by Zakaria. He'll go to the line for two. Fouls on Valinsky. the basket. I'm going to say it again, Sandy. Attack the basket. Sometimes you uh, you watch a lot. They have a tendency to settle for the three-point shot. They're not doing that tonight. They've attacked the basket, and now they're going to take their third and fourth foul shots of the night. So far tonight, they are um, they're not taking too many jumpers. The problem so far has been the turnovers. The turnovers have been the problems. Three straight turnovers to open the game, but Halal's only down 6-3. Zakari at the line for one more. Zakari hits both, and Halal's four for four at the line in the early going. Still yet to hit a field goal. You know what? They call them free throws. you got to cash in those points when you get to the line. Here's Cyclic for a three. Oh, wow. We. They got their uh, slingers here. Ezra Cyclic. A snipers. A deep three-pointer for Ezra Cyclic. That's DRS's second three-point goal. 9-4 DRS. The carry up into the corner to Taco Menedred. Zakaria and Sutton playing catch down low. Menedjit, oh, 
Almost lost it to Carrier. So Carrier gets his own rebound, crashing the boards. Nice play. Gets it, it's a loose ball, and allow the reset, and that's gonna pump the crowd up. Tobias thought about a long three, dribble, jumper. Got it. Beautiful wow. shot. That was a great possession by Halal. Jackie. Now Zakaria on the floor, saving the play, and then Morris Tobias with the jump shot. It's 9-6. I, I just love the decision of Tobias to decide to take that dribble and take a, 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 a foul line jumper rather than the long three. Yes, Norman. In other games, you've seen him settle for that long three. Seems tonight he is looking to get closer to the basket and take higher percentage shots. 9-6 DRS, Bennett, that's good passing. If you're gonna let the if you're gonna let DRS take the baseline, they will hit those easy layups all night long. You must block that let that baseline. 11-6 score, two and a half minutes left in the opening quarter. Quarterfinals, Halel hosting DRS. Another turnover by Halel. That's their fourth. Is Valinsky with another three? He rushed that shot, rebound Menedjid. Not a great possession by DRS there. And Zakaria is going to try to cut through the middle. Love to see Joe Zakaria go coast to coast like that. Joe Zakaria in attack mode tonight. Now 11 8, two minutes to play, first quarter. Joe Rishti used to always say, you know, we want to set up a play, but if at any point you could drive to the basket for a layup, you do just that. Great defense by Menedjid there. That's beautiful great. defense. And now Sutton comes down with it. I gotta say, I'm impressed by the Nedrick's defense the last two possessions. Tobias with the ball. Three point game, 11 8 Halal trails. Sutton to Zakaria, top of the key. Halal moving the ball around. Citra not involved too much yet. There's Zakaria bounce pass. Sutton goes to the corner. Back to Menedrid. Menedrid inside to Tobias. You gotta be careful with those passes. Tobias bailed them out there. Second gotta, time Halal bailed the, them, themselves out there on that. Yep. They Here's the carry a beautiful crossover. Three point. Got it! Tracy Citrin set that up with that beautiful crossover dribble and Citrin nailed the three in the corner. We have a tie nice. game now with a minute to play. I saw Citrin eyeing that ball. He wanted that ball. He wanted that shot. Nice play. Down nine, a steal by Tobias, and now, hello. 48 seconds left, 11-11 game. Now, Norman, typically, Halal likes to hold here. They like to hold for one shot. There's still 39 seconds to play. The logic of holding for one, obviously, is the worst you can do is get to the, get to the uh, bench in a tie game. Halal started off very, very shaky with the turnovers, and they have a chance to take a lead here or hopefully worst case just be a tie game. Sutton almost lost it, Tobias swings it to Zakaria and we're at 18 seconds left. Zakaria, back to Sutton. Here comes Zakaria. Nice pass. Locked. Okay, hello, we'll inbound the 5.9 seconds left. Five point nine seconds left. Tobias inbound. Then look at that set play. Tobias. Great play. Gets I it off the backboard. I'd love to end the half this and way. That's gonna end the that quarter. quarter. High octane, high spirited end to that first quarter. At the end of one, hello thirteen, DRS eleven. Love you that. Norman, there is a fired up, angry DRS coach. He is not happy with the way that no. first quarter ended. Mike Bell. Yelling at his players does not Strike think up. that they're putting in the effort that he's looking for. And I'll tell you, Norman, by contrast, Hillel put out a monstrous effort in the second half of that first quarter. They played a high, high intensity level on both sides of the court. Jackie, here's the thing. Hillel started very, very shaky. Three turnovers in their first three possessions. It looked ugly. DRS had a four or five point lead at certain points. And, um, and there were chances for DRS to take a bigger lead than they could have. There were a couple of loose balls on the floor. Hillel got all of them. Tobias got on the ground. He won that scruffle over there by the elbow. Um, there were a couple of errant passes that Hillel got bailed out at. We mentioned that. Yeah, Norman, I asked you, can they, does it look like this team came out with some jitters? Were they nervous? It took a few foul shots. You said, get those free throws, hit them. They did, 
and it seems like that opened up that opened up both sides of the court for them. Sandy, you mentioned that Hillel was four for four at the foul line oh, there, called free throws, free throws for a reason. Yeah, and I think that really calmed them down. Got to the line, got those four points, got back in the game, withstood a little bit of a run, actually came back to take the lead going into the second quarter now. I like where Hillel stands. And now uh, let's see what happens here. Sandy, Wildcats are not going to go away, Jackie. We know that. Sometimes when an offense is being no hit, you got to try to lay down a bunt. Try to squeeze yourself to first base. Get yourself a cheap hit. And that's what they did. Couldn't be overlooked how good that inbounds play was by Halal. A set play to get it back to Tobias. Okay, second quarter. 13-11. Brown at the top of the key now. They put Valinsky on the elbow and they put... Cyclic or Brown at the top of the key now. Brown holding the ball. Oh, he tried using the back door. I like Tobias tonight. He's all yes. over the place on defense. He's aggressive on offense. He's come to play tonight. Well, Tobias is a senior, and he doesn't want his career ending tonight. Zakaria doesn't want his career ending tonight. That's the thing with playoff basketball and seasons in general. The fear that they could end abruptly. You just never, never know. You have to win to stay in and get to the semifinals. That's a foul, and Steinberg will go to the line for two more shots. That's his second trip to the line. Yeah, second chance opportunity there for the Wildcats. Missed three point, a long rebound, and leads to uh, DRS getting to the foul line. Chance to tie the game here. Steinberg hit one of two last time, I believe. Southpaw shooter. That goes in, out, and back in again. 13-12 game. So much history here at Hillel, although the gym did not look like this at the time. A lot of playoff games have been played here over the decades. And Tied that, at 13, seven minutes and 18 seconds to go in this first half. Game moves pretty quickly once it gets started. The players should be settled in now. They should realize that it's another basketball game. Here's Citrin from the corner. Of course, he hit that big one earlier. He was short that time. We have a jump ball. We do. Good play there by Danny M. Master. He got on the floor and forced the jump. It'll stay with Hillel. Like a player like Danny M. coming in, giving the team a shot in the arm, a little bit more energy. Sutton. Long three. Now it looks like Hillel has resorted to a couple of long jumpers the last possessions. Norman, I don't want to see them going away from what worked in that first quarter. Tobias and Zakaria were both driving in in the first quarter. Now it looks like they settled for a couple of deep jumpers. Here's Valinsky. You could tell he's dangerous. You could tell he's confident. Valinsky to Brown. Back to Valinsky. Back to Brown. Brown's going to shoot this one. And Halel does not crash the board there. That's terrible right there. Long rebound. Nobody went for it. You got to run and go get that ball. Cannot happen. Two straight possessions, missed threes, offensive rebounds, leading to two points. And there you go, you don't have the lead now. I don't want to see Hillel soften up on the energy. They came out pumped up, don't lose it. Sutton, top of the key. Tobias setting up at the foul line. Sutton is gonna drive, he takes a floater, and that's just a brick off the backboard. Hillel definitely has hit a little bit of a dead spot here. The energy is different. This is a long three-pointer by Siklik, and he nailed it. He nailed the long three-pointer two feet behind the three-point line, and, and you can just feel the difference in the gym right now, 18-13 DRS. Absolutely. 7-0 run now to start the second quarter by DRS. Hillel desperately needing something to happen right now. This is similar to the beginning of the game when Hillel was desperate for a shot. Tobias just shot. hit that big shot. He was not even set on the ground. He was not even set, and he took a three, not even facing the basket, and nailed it. Halal pulls to within two. 18-16, what a difference a shot makes. Malinsky yeah. at the top, over to Brown. Brown down low, Steinberg gets his own, oh no. A third straight possession where DRS got the offensive rebound and cashed in with points, and he had the chance to get a third point now. Steinberg at the line for one shot. Cannot happen, Norman. Just cannot happen. Three straight possessions now, and this one's going to hurt. Well, look at what Zvi Goldberg just did, head coach of the of the Heat. He brought in some height. He brought in a banger, an elbow, and he brought in Morris Menedjit, probably the tallest guy on the team. 
this side of Tobias. Lead back up to five now for DRS, about five minutes to go here. Now what you don't want to fall into is a trap of only taking three pointers now. Tobias just hit a beautiful three pointer, but you don't want him resorting to that. You want him attacking the basket like we said earlier in the game. Oh, Menegin almost got stuck in that corner. Good defense by DRS here in a 2-3 zone. And they are well trained in that zone. You see the two guys at the top almost attached. Elbaum along three. And that's no good. Valensky brings it up. Cyclic takes another one. Cyclic likes to shoot that ball. That's for sure. He has seen a shot he didn't like tonight. That one was in and out. That was halfway down. Although he is a sniper. Absolutely. I'm going to tell you, I need the captain, Irwin Sutton, to settle this team down and to make something happen. Sutton to Elbaum. Citroen back to Sutton. Elbaum inside, and that's a turnover by Hillel. Five-point game. Coach Avramstein just told DRS to slow it down. Valinsky into the corner. He's attacking the basket. Oh, the block and a foul by Menegin. Saw him uh, take off with some power and speed. Valinsky. Did Valinsky. Yeah, Valinsky Raha. has the ability Raha. to take the jumper and also has the ability the to dribble quickly and attack the basket. He's Norman, an excellent player and only an 11th grader. Right? It hasn't been said yet, but Valinsky scored 27 points in the quarterfinals game where they beat North Shore 62 to 41. 25 of his 27 points were scored in the second half. Amazing. And DRS, if you follow this season, they're never out of a game. Even if you have a lead, they're never out of the game. They like to come back. Norman, when you have an explosive yeah, player, Norman, they might score change this call here. Yeah, yeah, and it was uh, that was a bad call, and the refs got it right. And now a missed free throw that's going to lead to another possession for DRS. Another offensive rebound by DRS off the free throw. That'll drive any coach crazy. And good job by the coaches getting the call right, getting together. Um, here's Valinsky, Sicklick, Ooh. and that's a trouble. And Coach, uh, Coach Stein yelling at his player, just shoot the ball. He's not happy with that travel. Coach Stein actually played in this league back when he was in high school. He played for Highlight. Over in Long Island when uh, when there was only High Line and Hillel. And those two schools combined to become Hafter, what we know as Hafter. So he's been a player, he's been a coach, he's actually a championship coach as DRS won the championship just two years ago. So Carrier with a three. And that's off the backboard. And again, another quick possession by Hillel. They've lost their ability to attack the basket, and I don't know why they were successful doing so. It's a nice it's a turnover! And Sutton lays it in. That's a big bucket. Big bucket. Than four. Yeah, I mean, bucket DRS moment. was had the ball, chance to make it an eight-point game. Instead, it's a four-point game. Maybe that'll revitalize this team. I was looking for the captain to make a big play, and he did. Two minutes, 55 seconds left to go in this first half. DRS leads 22-18. This is a very big and important juncture in this game. Four-point game, two minutes, 50 seconds left. You really have to shut down DRS here if you're rooting for Hillel. DRS moving the ball nicely. Walensky here, Zach Brown. Oh, and that's a turnover. That's a... And they're going to call a kick ball on that. I don't know about that call. I don't know if that hits below. Okay, they're going to call a... a Okay. DRS inbounding the ball. Norman, like you said, this is a huge stop here at this part of the game. We're down to two and a half minutes left. In and out, Brown. Oh, and that's going to be another travel. This one by Zach Brown. Let's see if we can convert Second this. straight travel there, and... Uh, Halal now with the ball and a chance to really, really get back in this game. I'd love to convert this into a couple of into a couple of points, Norman. I'd love to see Halal go back to what they did in the first quarter and attack the basket. Citrin instead takes a long three and another quick one pass shot possession and DRS gets the ball back. Norman, I'll continue to say it. We must attack the basket. Halal 
was playing their best when they were attacking the basket. Here's Walensky for a three, and he drained it, and just like that, it's a seven-point game. Halal's offense in the second quarter has not been, uh, not been disciplined, not been, not been what you want to see. Not, it has not been what has given them success in this particular game. I know all year they're draining threes. Take it to the hole, Norman. And Tobias, he's helping the corner. Out to Zakaria, Zakaria attacks. Down by seven. You can't let this get away from you if you're Halal yeah, right this now. Is a, this is a huge defensive stop here. They must make a stop. Bite an ankle, do something. You have to keep this where it is right now. If not, get closer. You cannot have a situation where you're down double digits. That's a nice block. Menedjid with the block. Citrus no got to slow it down. No Nobody is there. It's got to slow it down. Here's Tobias. Tobias is going to take a long three. Oh Rebound. Not there. Well, it's like beating a draw. It's like, uh, you know, beating a dead horse here. Again, one pass and a long three. I don't love the offense in this second quarter. And I don't think uh, DRS is going to be in any hurry to shoot here. They've got a seven-point lead, 40 seconds to play. Let led 13-11 coming into this quarter. They've only scored five points in the last eight minutes, and they've given up 14. Mike Moe. The hush falls to the crowd. After 22 seconds left. Hillel is not pressuring them, not making them do anything, so there's no five-second violation at all here. Okay, coach wants Jojo Valinsky to get the ball. Down to eight seconds. Well, they're not going to shoot yet. They're going to wait for one. Here he goes. Jumper, no good. Oh, no, 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 offensive rebound. That quarter was filled with offensive rebounds by the DRS Wildcats. Constant second chances, and they converted so many of those second chances. And on the other side, Hillel's offense has turned into one pass and a long three-pointer. Norman, I love the way, I'm going to keep saying it, I love the way they played in that first quarter. Once they got those few foul shots and they got comfortable, no, 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 I'm using it stuff. they got comfortable, they started to attack the basket, they were drawing fouls, they were making taking good shots. Yeah, I'm trying to get out. They changed their game Just in the second it. quarter to taking, like you said, one pass, long three-pointer, not the way that they're going to win this game. Jackie, there's an old adage, you live by the jump shot, you die by the jump shot. And, uh, you know, Hillel all year, they're taking three-pointers, and they're hitting a lot of them. And you could fall in love with that at points. You could fall in love with the jump shot. But in a game like this that was intense and, you know, bodies banging under the basket and going for those rebounds and everything, it is not a game to turn into, oh, let me take one dribble, pass it to someone so he could take a long three-pointer. That wasn't the feeling of this game. And Hillel changed what they were doing when the scoreboard changed in the second quarter. Norman, I agree 100%, and I really hope for Hillel's sake, if you're rooting for Hillel, like you said, I hope that Zvi and Coach Dweck are in there and they're telling them, what went on in the second quarter will not win this game. You need to attack the basket. You need to make the right passes, draw fouls, take high percentage shots. You can't be making one pass and then shoot a long three. Highlights from the first quarter were, um, were Tobias going after those loose balls, um, Zakaria charging the basket, Hillel 4 for 4 from the line. Another thing that happens when you go to the basket is you get to the foul line. Like you said, Norman, those shots are free. They are free. Let's take them. If someone offered me this bottle of water free, I'm going to take it and run. Jackie. Very rare will you get to the foul line when you're taking those long jumpers. If that's how they're scoring, that's how they scored their first four points, you would think they'd continue to attack the basket. I'd like to see, and I'd like to hope that Zvi Goldberg and Jamie Dweck and the coaching staff are drilling this into their heads as much as we're drilling it to each other, that they have to go back to attacking the basket. Forget the scoreboard for a moment. You're down nine. It seems like you could get back in quicker if you take three three-pointers. Now, is he in? on the flip side of it, are you in? You have a long history here. Hillel is the one seed in the playoffs. Hillel is the one seed. They're hosting this. Uh, we're good with the same link. Oh, this actually feels pretty good. 
Okay, we're back. We have three minutes left at halftime, um, and uh, basically we were just discussing the contrast between the first and second quarter, a tale of two quarters basically, one in which Hillel had energy, although they started off a little shaky, they had a ton of energy, crowd was rocking, they were attacking the basket, and another one in which DRS totally dominated the, their offensive rebounding, got second chances, and Hillel was reduced to taking long jumpers. So. Here we are. It is 27-18. DRS leads Hillel at halftime. Jackie? Norman, I mean, we, we talked about it since, uh, since the half ended, and it has been, like you said, a tale of two quarters. Um, and once Hillel got comfortable, hit those two foul shots, and said, you know what? We're going to attack the basket. We're going to die for the loose balls. We're going to play defense. We're going to make smart passes. We're going to do the right thing. They were able to come back, and they went into the second quarter strong. What happened after that? Like you said, they went. They reverted to some, some the, the style of it's, play. It's just not going to work. It's, it, was, it was bad possessions. It's like, like Norman said, it's one pass and a three. Um, it, it was going away from that attack in the basket. They didn't get to the line in the second half, in the second quarter, from what I can remember. And give DRS, it's not only about Hillel, give DRS credit. They knocked down their shots. They played well, they, get, they created second chances for themselves, and took advantage of that, those opportunities. They had their biggest lead of the night now, 27-18. Nothing pumps a team up more than when you miss a shot, and one of your big boys under the basket gets an offensive rebound and puts that ball back in the basket. Because when you miss that shot, you think you're going back on defense and suddenly your team scored two points. Nothing pumped the team up more than that. And you saw the way DRS responded. When three or four straight possessions, they got second chance points. Those second chance points, Norman, I'm gonna tell you, it's two outs, runner on second. You have an 0-2 count and the guy hits a double. The guy hits a double and the run scores. That kills. That's something that cannot happen if you're playing defense. You can't allow that. But like you said, this DRS team is strong. They have firepower. Player like Vilinski scores 25 points in the second half of a game. You got to be afraid. Yeah, players now back on the court, Norman and Jackie. About 40 seconds till the second half will begin. Important to note that DRS will have the ball to start the half. Um, you know. There's a certain mentality to being down double digits or single digits. As crazy as it sounds, it's, I think it's a must stop on this first possession. I, I'm not sure if there was a jump ball late that DRS got. Maybe we have the ball to start there, but I'm not exactly sure. But we'll, I guess we'll find out for sure in 20 seconds. Um, but either way, I, the point is we have to start the third quarter. Um, I mean, we're in the Joel Risty uh, Athletic Center, the Joel Risty Memorial Gymnasium. He used to say, the first five minutes of the third quarter determines the outcome of the game. What you're going to do right now, how you respond right now, it is so huge. DRS is looking to run away with it, obviously, and Alel's looking to try to make this a dog fight. Yeah. We'd like to also thank our cameramen and everybody that helped us tonight, Ezra Gindi and company. Well, a couple of the seniors yeah, over in, uh, like not the seniors, the alumni over in College Park are looking for a shout out. So uh, we're willing to oblige for that. Also, uh, Yo, people across the globe, this is being simulcast actually in 14 yes, languages yes, tonight. Yes, Norman. And uh, I believe we're in, I think we're up to 32 countries tonight for this. 30, we've met, we know we've reached our 33rd. Oh, good. Seth, our, our um, director of IT, Seth Dimbert, was able to help South Korea add uh, themselves to this telecast and it is being Google translated for the South Korean. In addition to all 50 states and uh, American Samoa. And DRS will inbound to start the second half. And the crowd right away into it. Let's see what happens here. Quick three-pointer, short. 
coach, coach, coach. Got to get on the goes. floor for the loose balls. And that's a good possession. That's a good defensive stop by Hillel. There was a loose ball, and Hillel jumped to the floor like they should. If you're not willing to scrape your knee when you possibly have only 16 minutes left in your careers in basketball, then, then you don't belong playing. So great job out of Hillel getting on the floor and getting that ball. Coach Goldberg going with Taco here to start the second half. One, it's a little bit of extra height. I like the move of going to Taco here for the second half. Uh, I like that Tobias just drove to the basket. Belinsky into Bennett. Brown. Cyclic wants the ball, but it's Brown that has it. Jumper. <laughs> Rebound, Joe Zakaria. He'll push. He's going to stop and turn around. Zakaria thought about going all the way and then uh, came up with a plan B and then turned the ball over there. A uh, plan B that uh, didn't seem to work. No. Oh Bennett at the foul line out to Belinsky. Oh. Citrin tried cutting that ball off. Here's Brown. Brown kicks it out. That's a turnover. That's a turnover. Sutton looking. Oh, Citrin was tripped on the break. Here's Sutton. Nice play. Wow. That is some. Boris Tobias came flying him. in. Like we said, attack the basket. And right attack away, Coach basket. Stein wants to stop this. He doesn't like what he sees out of the gate. A couple of bad possessions for DRS. Hillel hasn't exactly capitalized. They only have one field goal to start the third quarter, but it is 27-20. But that's a good, that's great coaching because he saw. I think he saw a difference in energy Louis, from his DRS Wildcats, Louis, Louis. and he saw a difference in energy from Hillel, and he called a timeout. He tried to nip it in the bud. I, I like the timeout. I like the timeout. I do. I think it was a smart timeout. Um, he's going to settle his team down. I mean, he's not a Hall of Fame coach for nothing, Norman. A lot of viewers at home are wondering why does Hillel have a little purple uh, ribbon um, on on their uniforms. And that's because we'd be remiss if we didn't mention one year ago today, the passing of DJ Cohen, a friend of all of us, yeah. uh, passed away way before his time. And our hearts go out to Alexis and the three daughters and the entire family. DJ Cohen was a well-noted inspiration to our entire school and community. He also did love the game of basketball. And you know how many times he came to the school for programs or whatever speeches. And these kids were the recipients of those speeches. Great gesture by the kids. If Citrin kept it himself, got to pass that ball there on a two-on-one yeah, fast break. For sure, you're on, a, you're on a fast break. But I'll tell you, I like the defense. I like they're playing with high energy. Tobias at top of the key. Sutton calls for it, and Tobias is going to set in. Yeah. <laughs> Norman, uh, this is the first substitution DRS will make this entire game. Yes, it is all the amazing. And it's going to be Avi Mandel coming into the game. I'm not sure for who, but it won't be Belinsky, Brown, or Cyclic, that's for sure. Belinsky just drained the three. Norman, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm concerned here for Hillel. They've outplayed DRS to start the quarter, and they are, they've lost a point on the scoreboard. They're down by 10 now. Norman, they have that's, not a good, capitalized that's a good point you're making, Sandy. Like they should have. Again, you fall down nine or ten. You're just so tempted to just take the first open three you have. And Hillel's success has been when they attack the basket, and they're, they're just not doing that. Um, okay, so that's going to be a foul on Menejid, and that'll send Zach Brown to the line for two shots. Zach Brown has been a very confident free throw shooter. He is not afraid to take the big shot. He gets up there. He's not intimidated. And um, he, he, he's just been very strong for this DRS team. Well, Brown and Valinsky have basically alternating on leading scorers when you look at their regular season. Um, Taco with a little bit of foul trouble. They're going to bring in Danny M. Massery. One more shot here for Zach Brown. Thirty-two to twenty here. Five minutes left. Hillel needs a strong possession and a bucket here. Sakaria to Sutton. Oh, almost lost it. You got to get this ball into Tobias at some point yes. if you can. Norman. A very good two-three zone from DRS. They know how to play it. They shift together. Oh. 
Zakaria looked like he had a little bit of space over there, but then went with the bounce pass, turned the ball over. And DRS has an open layup down low. Too close. Okay, Zach Brown back at the line for two. The offense for DRS looks pretty sweet in this third quarter. Um, passing the ball and getting these nice layups. Four pretty minutes. Impressive three point, uh, three, three throws Four yes. minutes, 31 seconds left in this third quarter. Uh, DRS leads 34 to 20. Yeah, this is, and now Zvi's gonna talk about it with Halal. And one, once again, Yo, guys, guys, Halal outplayed this, this team to start this quarter, just did not hit, just did not hit their shots. Instead of getting this game down to about a three point game, Shut they up. kept it at seven. You couldn't do they it. DRS hit a big to. three, some foul shots, and now this game is getting into that scary territory. It's 34 yeah. to 20. Uh, Sandy, you gotta turn this around, and you gotta turn it around quickly. If I'm Zvi Goldberg, I pull my two what? seniors that have played for me since uh, sophomore year. I look at Joe Zakaria and I look at Morris Tobias and I tell them, boys, this is it. It's up to you right now. Take the ball to the hole, crash the boards, get those rebounds, pour out every last ounce of energy you yes. have because there's 12 and a half minutes left in regulation in this yes. ball game. Norman, those two players have some big shoulders and they must take this team and carry them on them. And like I said earlier, the captain, Erwin Sutton, also needs to lead them. They need to, he needs to lead the charge. He needs to show them the way. He needs to show them the road to victory. And it's, it's important to, you know, like we've been saying, you, you, you can't make up 14 points in one possession. You got you to gotta play your game. You got to chip away, chip away, chip away, play defense. Take it one possession at a time. You don't need to shoot threes all night. You can do what you were doing. And I know when you're down big, you're always focusing on offense. But another way to come back is to do everything you can to stop DRS from scoring again. Just every defensive possession is as important as the offensive possessions. So let's see how Hillel responds here. Sutton. Gotta watch those passes. DRS is attacking the passes. His mastery. Very, very sloppy passing. A sloppy pass from Sutton and Mastery on that possession. But there was a foul there, so Hello will inbound the ball now. 14 point game, 412 remaining. DRS is playing excellent defense. Since the first quarter, DRS has clamped down. I mean, I know we're talking about Hello execution, but DRS is making it really tough for the Heat. They play a 2 3 zone, which many teams play, but they, the big difference is that they know how to play in a 2 3 zone. They know, they all shift together. They're There's like one unit. Play we like, nothing going. Hello got away with a rebounding foul there. It looked like he crashed into him. <laughs> sometimes when the little guy comes flying, they don't call the foul. They look the other way sometimes. Oh, oh, loose ball. Malinsky lost the handle there, but here's Brown. That's a big shot. These guys are poised and in control. It's the carrier. That's uh, Citroen who missed That's that. Citroen, I'm sorry, excuse me. It's gonna be white ball. Okay, we're down 16 points now. We are in the danger zone, deep in the danger zone right now. Uh, it doesn't get much more dangerous than this, Norman. You're, uh, you know, if you don't do something drastic in the next three minutes or so, it's gonna be tough to come back. And you know, DRS feels that also. They know if they can stomp on Halal's neck, this game could, could be, yep, and that's what they're doing. They're attacking every pass. Two on one fast break. Miss the layup. Miss the layup. Halal's gotta score here. They gotta score here. Sutton to Citrin. He drives and go to the line for two. Okay. We got to get to the line. You got to draw some fouls. You got to take the ball to the hole. We keep saying it. Uh, I'm going to say it again. I've been saying it all night. Attack the basket. DRS will now make their first substitution of the night. Sending in Avi Mandel, number 33. 
First halal bucket in a while. Just remember at the end of one, this game was 13-11 halal. So until that foul shot, halal only scored seven points compared to 25. Okay, big two shots by Citroen. Halal's gonna do a little pressure here. A they have to, pass. they gotta do something. Mandel just in the game. Back out to Bennett. Bennett over to Valinsky. That's a long, long shot by Siklik. I don't know if that's the shot Coach Stein wanted there. Coach Stein is just nodding after that shot. Elbaum in the game now. Zakaria, Mr. Tobias, he thought about it. He missed the layup, rebound by Citrin. And he got Citrin fouled the again. Well, Coach Stein looking for a walk there. Didn't get the call, and uh, Tobias missed the shot, but did tip the rebound over to Citrin, and Citrin able to get to the line for two more. 14-point game here. How many fouls on AJ? Two. Coach Dweck talking to his leader, Tobias, telling him, wake up, play strong, play tough. Like you said, you're talking about a quarter plus 234 left in your possibly in your career. You Great foul shooting by Halal tonight so far. They've gotten it down to 12. This is what you need to do. Stops, points, stop. This is the biggest possession of the game to date right now. This is the biggest defensive possession of the game. Elbaum goes right through that pick. That's a nice strong play by Elbaum. Again, another pick. Gotta fight through those picks. Okay, Erwin pressuring him down low to DRS. Mandel, ooh, a weak pass over there. Here comes Bennett. Bennett, at the ball. Here comes Tobias. He has Citroen on the wing. He takes it himself, misses the line. Halel fought for that rebound. Here comes DRS the other way. Oh, big opportunity. Valinsky for three. Back iron. Rebound, Elbaum. Elbaum to Tobias. 12 point game. Here comes Elbaum. This is a huge basket. Tobias running. for three. Nailed it. That's a huge three. Huge three, three and this gym explodes. A nice 7 0 run now by Halal to answer. And now okay, the, the fans have woke up right now. 126 left in the third. Halal down by only nine now. Yep. And that's going to be a foul on the ground. Elbaum is masking Valinsky. Valinsky is, is having a great Elbaum, game tonight. Elbaum playing amazing right now. Amazing defense. Very strong defense. We said it earlier. It's not just the offensive possessions. It's the defensive possessions. Oh, that. A steal the on the inbound. Okay, here's Tobias. Well, down nine, a minute 12. Zakaria handling the ball top of the key. Over to Sutton. Back to Zakaria. A minute left in the third quarter. Halal down nine. They were down by as much as 16 just two minutes ago. Tobias thought about the three, takes a dribble. He's in trouble. He's trapped out to Zakaria. Zakaria to Citrin for three. Got it! Wow. He nailed it! Let's go! A big run. A That's big a huge by Halal. three from Citrin. Halal with a 10 0 run right now. They've turned a 16 point deficit into a six-point deficit. And this Hillel Jim has woken. Oh, that's a big, big bucket behind his back. Zach Brown gets it to eight. That's okay, Norman. You just gotta come back and get your two or three right back. Hillel looks like they're holding for one here. 20 seconds left. They cut a 16-point deficit down to six, and now it's eight. 15 seconds left. Let's see what they call. Gives the ball over to Joe Zakaria. Oh no, he lost it. Okay, he fouled him. Oh, Norman, I saw that the whole way. Oh. All right, let me let me uh Un let me bring unwrap it back. It. Let me unwrap it for you. There was a steal by DRS. A fast break. DRS was fouled on the play. They were going to go to the line for two. But after the foul, Sam Elbaum committed the foul. After the foul, a DRS player pushed Elbaum and received a technical foul. So I don't know how they sort this out. I believe it was Brown. Brown received the technical. What did he do to get the technical? He pushed Elbaum into the boards after the foul. Now, Elbaum did the right thing. You know the rule on a fast break. Either you don't foul him, but if you do foul well, him. Well, he got fouled, Jack. 
Again, if you do foul him, he can't score. But it looks like Zach Brown is at the line. He's at the line for two, and then Halal will get two in the ball, I believe. Zach misses the second, and now I believe Halal will have two technical foul shots. Great job, Sandy, unpacking this. Yes. We, we also got a, a kippah thrown our way yes, afterwards. I did have it almost to. hit Norman. It, it, it actually did hit me, Sandy. It actually did hit me. Richard misses the first. He's had an excellent night at the line. He has, but these are big shots. I mean, you got to hit these. Got to hit this one. Okay. 39 31. It's going to be Halal's bull now, I guess, right? I'd, I'd love to end the half with two points here, Norman. Okay, 39 31, eight point game. This was a 16 point game three minutes ago. Here's the carrier. Gets it into Sutton for three. Oh, and we're going to go to the fourth quarter in an eight point game. Uh, Norman, like you said, we were down, Halal was down 16. Uh, you got to be, you got to be okay. You sign for just being down eight after a 16 point deficit in the middle of that third quarter. I, I gotta um, say Mike that these CRS guys, this is a nice bunch of guys. Yeah. I mean, they, they lost their cool just now on that fast break. That's okay, it happens. Um, but they, the coach is telling them the referee was right for teeing you up. The yes. kid that threw the Amica already apologized. So, yeah. um, Really? Norman, the, the, a lot of mentions on this team, and I'm going to tell you, uh, we're sitting right next to the uh, the opposing team's bench, and I'll tell you that it all stops, starts at the top. This coach is an absolute gentleman, and he teaches his team the right way to behave and to play. You're right, uh, Jack, you make an excellent point. And I'm going to say something. Going into the fourth quarter here, Halal has a chance. This team, at up 16, you got to feel like you're about to win a quarterfinal game. All of a sudden, a couple of minutes later, you're only up eight. They gotta be reeling a little bit. Hillel is gonna have to attack here and keep the pressure on. Okay, it's gonna be Hillel's ball to start the quarter. Um, and uh, very, very, um, very, very interesting to note because uh, DRS had a chance. DRS had a chance to run away with this game. And they were up 16, they had the ball, and somehow Hillel was able to stop the bleeding and pull within eight. Every possession is huge now. Fourth quarter, quarterfinals. Winner plays the winner of Mag and David versus TABC. That game's happening right now. The winner of each game advances to the semifinals. I believe the other semifinal matchup is set. Tobias over to Zakari in the corner. A long possession by Hillel. Elbaum, a dribble. Nice Into pass. Tobias. Pass. And yeah. run. Elbaum is playing a really nice game tonight. He is that was a spark tonight on multiple fronts, on defense and on offense. Like he, he said, he's absolutely been masking Velinsky, and he just made a professional pass to set up Tobias to possibly nail down this three-point play. <clears throat> 39-33. Yeah. Tobias misses the foul shot. Hillel within six. Hillel has missed two of their last three foul shots and is starting the game beautifully on the foul line. Here's Valinsky to Bennett. Bennett! Zakaria tipped that pass away. 7-11 left in the game. Elbaum will continue, continue to be on Valinsky like white on rice. Their two best scorers are Brown and Valinsky. If Elbaum could get Valinsky neutralized, halal has got a much better chance, but here's Brown. Called the foul on that. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a foul or a travel. They called the foul on Sutton. Brown has a height advantage over Sutton, and he's driving to the ball. He's driving to the basket all night. It's going to be a foul on Sutton. Brown yeah. goes to the line for two. And Norman Brown's been getting to the free throw okay. line and has Absolutely. hit just about all of them. I, if I recall correctly, maybe he's missed one all night, and I feel like he's been at the free throw line nonstop. There he goes, hitting another. He has his game face on also. He, he, he's down, serious, go he's poised, he's under control. DRS is not overwhelmed by the moment. That's Absolutely not. You can tell they've been here. Uh, very cool bunch. And they got it back up to eight now. 
Okay, this is why we watch sports. Seven minutes left in an eight-point game. All the chips are on the table. Elbaum over to Sutton for three. That looks good out of his hand. But... Tobias with an offensive rebound. Citron in the corner. And he was fouled. He was fouled on that three. He's going to go to the line for three shots now. 41-33. 6.45 remaining. That's going to be a foul on number 24, A.J. Bennett. A.J. Packed crowd here in Hillel, they go silent when their own guy goes to the line. You can hear a pin drop right now, Norman. Okay, Citroen. First of three over here. Got the first one. Norman, uh, we can't say enough how important these free throws are. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Okay, 41-35, one more foul shot for Citroen. There's 6.45 left. Alel was down 16 just five minutes ago. Okay, Halel's gonna go to their full court press. Oh, that was a risky pass, but Steinberg gets away. He's a carrier, recovers. Back out to A.J. Bennett. Bennett back to Brown. That's a Stolen. good turnover. Stolen. Here comes Very the carrier, pushing it, pushing it. Citroen, oh, but Tobias is there to clean it up. And we have a three-point game, Norman. 41-38 after being down by 16. Here comes Bennett. Bennett drives in, he's fouled. Unable to put in the layup. It could have been a three-point play. It looked like he had a chance. He'll go to the line for two. What a comeback here at Hillel. AJ Bennett to the line for two. He hasn't been to the line that often tonight. Well, it's going to be super loud now. Missed, Missed the first. Norman, you got to love Morris Tobias on those offensive boards. He's done that two or three times tonight where he flies in and just puts the put back in. Sandy, Sandy, Morris Tobias has a big body. He's got big arms. He must attack that basket like he's been. I don't want to see him to go away from that for the last six minutes and 13 seconds of this game. 6-10 now remaining, 42-38. Zakaria, I'd like Elbaum. Elbaum Elbaum provided a huge spark for this team tonight. Tobias for a long three. Sutton fine for two more. Can't say enough about Citroen here in the last uh, eight minutes or so of gameplay. He's hit his shots, he's gone to the line. Norman, very important. Most teams have a big run in them. Hillel has made their big run. Will they allow DRS to answer? They've got to keep them at bay. There's only five minutes left. Citroen hits another foul shot. Okay, Teddy M. Mastery coming into the game. Who's he coming in for is the question. Coming in for Irwin, okay. Coming in for Irwin Sutton. Hillel down 44-39. Citroen one more shot at the foul line. Five minutes, 11 seconds remaining. Citroen really has been amazing from the line. Can't say enough about these foul shots that Citroen's been hitting in this fourth quarter. Hillel looking to get back to the semifinals. They haven't been there in many years. Bennett, nice pass to Steinberg. Can't say enough about DRS. They've got an answer every trip down, back down now. They're trading baskets. Well, you can't trade baskets when you're down six, so Hillel's gonna have to come up with a few more stops. Jump shot, I don't like that shot from Citroen. He was doing so great driving in, and now he just settled for a jumper. Bad offensive possession leads to a quick bucket by DRS. Eight point game, now four and a half minutes left. Elbaum, top of the key. Since Sutton's been out, Elbaum's been at the top of the key. Here's the carrier, oh! Try to go around the basket. Hillel maintains possession. Sutton coming back in for mastery. He got a quick breather. You need Sutton in this game because you want Elbaum on one of the wings. You don't want Elbaum, uh, you know, controlling the offense. You want Sutton controlling the offense. Let's see what Hillel does on the inbound play here. They've had that, the last few inbound plays, they've had that Morris Tobias play where he catches it almost in the post. There he is. 
No. Unable to get it into him. He better get it in. Got it into Citroen in the corner. It. They're going for the uh -huh. trap. Pass to Elbaum. Across to Sutton. Sutton short on it. Rebound to Carrier, and he was fouled. That's the ninth team foul on. That's one on one, I think, Norman. It's a one on one, and one and one until you get to 10. So he'll go to the line for a one and one. If he hits it, he'll get a second. AJ Bennett now with four fouls. Five and you're out. Okay, it's a carry, it's a one and one. Halel does not put men on the line. Yeah. Not only do you get that point, you get the opportunity for another one here. 48-41, seven point game. It's a carry, nails another. Halel needs to stop here, Norman. Those are two very, very big free throws from their senior, Joe Z. Zakaria. You can't be exchanging baskets though when you're down by six. You gotta get a stop now. Halel's gotta pour out everything in their gas tanks and get a stop at all costs. Four minutes left. Bennett, look at the dribble. Bounce pass, oh he missed the layup, a gorgeous pass. Gorgeous play, oh no. You can't make a lazy pass like that, Norman. You absolutely cannot. That, that was, was a very bad turnover, and, and you, you, you lose your focus for a second in the fourth quarter. That can hurt you. Hillel's got to let it go and got to score a bucket over here. Shake that off and get two points in this possession. Here's Sutton. Now he's going to go to the line for two. That's a double bonus. It's a 10th team foul. Well, it goes without saying, they got to hit their foul shots, but we need stops. Hillel needs stops down the court. They had it before, and then a terrible turnover. Hillel's got to be thrilled that they're getting to the line, stopping the clock with the opportunity to score. Yeah. Yeah. Morris Menegid Taco being put back into the game. Elbaum coming out of the game. Elbaum changed this game. He did what, a, what you're supposed to do. You come off the bench, you provide a huge, huge spark for the team, and uh, yeah. on offense and on defense, great playing. Yes, Elbaum's Elbaum. got to be proud with the way he's played defense. He absolutely swarmed Valinsky in this game. Absolutely, he played spirited offense as well, making some great passes and pulling some big rebounds. While Valinsky was neutralized by Elbaum, DRS went to their other scorer. Zach Brown can score with anybody in the league. Cyclic to, scored a couple of buckets. Steinberg got involved. AJ Bennett got involved. Yeah, yeah, they, they've, they've been good, Norman. They've been really good. They've had answers. Yeah. This is a it's very tough to withstand a run like that in another team's building. The crowd's going crazy, and uh, you got to give them credit. They've responded very well. They still have a seven-point lead right now, and uh, you know time is inching off the clock as 325 remaining here in the fourth. Well, of course, the clock is the best friend of DRS right now. Only three and a half minutes left. 325 to be exact. Halel trails by seven. Sutton at the line for one. Packed crowd here in the Joel yeah! Richard Gymnasium. Halel pulls within six after Sutton hits another three. And now, boy. Halel... Halel is pressing, DRS is breaking the press easily and getting two on one fast break, yeah. but they didn't convert them. Another, another foul, we got another foul. Well, on that last one, it, it looked like DRS had a two on one, looked like it was going to be an easy two. Uh, missed the layup, could have been a little bit of contact there, Norman, but they let him play. On the what? other end, Citroen gets fouled in the corner, bad foolish, foul. Foolish, foolish foul by DRS there. Um, on, on a pass, he went for the steal, and he clearly reached in over there. Easy call for the referee, and it now gives two shots for Hillel with the clock stop. By the way, out of town scoreboard, it seems CABC has beaten Mag and David in the other quarterfinal game. Yeah! Norman, I, I believe uh, Share Torah also won tonight to get to the semifinals. They're going to face uh, SAR, uh, SAR. SAR, yeah. SAR had a huge upset over so half. It seems already. the winner of this game is going to play TABC. 50 to 45. Citroen hit the first. Got a friendly home. Yeah! Play roll and did not need a roll in the second one. We have a four point game, gentlemen. 40, 46 for Halal, 50 for DRS. Ooh. 
crowd should be on their feet and chanting. Ooh. Almost a turnover and a timeout DRS. Good defense by DRS. Norman, I agree. The crowd seems to have picked a, a, a weird time to sort of flatten out. Yes, I, I, I'm surprised they're not on their feet and cheering and going crazy. Yeah, get the crowd up. I think that there was less five thousand. Sandy, two fifty-five left. We have a quick break in the action here. Fifty to forty-six. I don't remember the last time Hillel got to the semifinals. They have a chance to do so, so if they can come out from foul, a four-point deficit with two minutes and 55 seconds left. I mean, this 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 is uh, an opportunity we haven't seen in quite a while, Norman. And the team had such a great uh, regular season, Whoa, such a great run, and uh, they're a great group of kids. And uh, they're giving it their all tonight, and they're getting all they bargained for and more in the DRS Wildcats. It's been a great game. Okay, Sutton is going to guard the inbounder. Danny M. Master, 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 Master. Danny M. Master guarding Zach Brown. Citrin on Valinsky now. Now the crowd back crowd into it. Crowd is on their feet. Okay. Zach Brown has space. He kicks it out to Cyclic. Missed the throw. Rebound to Bias. A little down by four. Sutton. To the carrier back. He wanted, he, he wants, he, 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 here's Mastery in the corner. Oh boy. Missed the shot. And now DRS will have possession. Ooh, that's gonna be a reach in foul. You'd like to see him get the ball into Tobias when you're down by four with three minutes left. I thought Tobias was gonna take that long. He looked like he was setting up to take that NBA three. Um, Tobias yeah. has proven he can hit that shot, and in the right spot, it's the right shot. Um, you just don't want to see him falling in love with the jumpers like that. But here and there, if he has a look, he can hit that shot. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, getting to the line. He has been a foul shooting machine tonight, Norman. Both teams really have been unbelievable at the foul line tonight. When you attack the basket, you get to the line. Zach Brown attacks the basket. That's, uh, great play by Avi Mandel off the bench. He came in, that was a fight for the rebound, and he tipped the ball off of Morris Menedge's leg, and DRS has possession. It's a killer, it's a killer. You get the missed foul shot, you think you're gonna come back the other way, and again, second chance opportunity. We don't have time for that, Norman. Here's Brown. Good defense Master by Garden Danny. Brown. Two minutes, 10 seconds oh. left. Give and go, blocked by Tobias. DRS doesn't mind that, Norman. They, they, they're okay with that. They'll take the ball out again. 207 left. Look for Hillel to jump off this inbound pass. Let's see what they do. Well in a 2-3 zone. Mandel's not looking for the shot in the corner there. Passes it off. Ooh. Here's Valinsky. Oh! A block foul by Mastery. That's a tough call. That's a tough call. Out of town scoreboard, Hillel, seventh grade boys. Just, that Yav, just upset Yavne in the playoffs. Good news for the seventh graders. But back here, five point game, under two minutes left. Walensky at the line for two. One and one. One and one. One and one, thank you, Sandy. I'd have Elbaum in this game just to guard Walensky. He, he, was, he was an absolute spark on defense. I would have him back in this game. He was the only one that's proven that he could shut down Walensky. Walensky is a scoring machine. And we had someone that could neutralize him. Citrin, back to Sutton. 145 left. Zakaria drives, misses the layup, rebound the edges. Back to Zakaria, shoots, gets it. That's a big, big basket big from Zakaria. I love the way he attacked the basket, not once, but twice on that possession. And credit Morris Menedjid. Morris Menedjid just got a huge offensive rebound and made a beautiful, easy pass over to Zakaria. Zakaria, a little turnaround, two-footer, drained it. Big shot, Norman, and now we need to Eddie. stop. Norman, Sandy, Victor, Victor, we're here Victor. live at Hillel Victor, Yeshiva, Jeffrey and Juliet Victor. Saka Athletic Center at the Joel Richter Memorial Gymnasium. 
We have one minute and 40 seconds left in this game. 53-48, DRS leads Hillel. W buckle up, guys. Yeah, I, You're in for a wild ride. Right, uh, right now, it's going to come down to, I mean, at this point in the game, you're going to go for the steals, but you're going to have to be putting DRS on the line at this point. Uh, you're, you're down by five. There's a minute 40 left. There's no shot clock. So you're going to see some fouls now. Can DRS hit their foul shots? That's the only way that they don't win this game, if they don't hit their foul shots. Hello with eight fouls, meaning they can foul one more time where it's going to be a one and one. Once you get to 10, they get two they shots. got the press here. They got the press. Oh, and DRS almost lost the ball. And it's going to be a foul on and I think they, I think they fouled the guy they wanted there. Mandel's going to go to the line, number 33. He's not a starter. He came off the bench. It's 19 fouls. He'll have a one and one. Needless to say, obvious to say, Hillel must get the rebound on a miss here. Nothing to negotiate there. Missed the One foul rebound. shot. Oh, no. Paco gets the rebound. Okay, Manette to Tobias. Hillel basically got away with giving up no points there on a quick position, possession. They're down by five, a minute 20. Zakaria down to Manette. Back to Zakaria. He falls, but he maintains possession. Into, into Tobias. Back to Sutton behind the arc. Over to Tobias. He's open for a long three. Got it. Wow. It. What a shot by, by, by Tobias. Let's go. 53 51. That's a big time shot by Morris Tobias. A long three point at the pole within two points. Norman, you saw that he wanted that shot. He wanted it on the first play. On the first play, he passed it, got himself some space, and took it the second time and knocked it down. 53-51, a minute nine to play now. Like you said, Sandy, he wanted that shot. You saw his feet set. He was ready for the ball. He got it, and he took that shot. I got to tell you, Norman, that's the biggest Yo, shot Eddie, Morris Eddie, Tobias Eddie. has hit in his career. Zakaria lost his footing on that possession. He maintained possession. He got it into Erwin Sutton at the foul line, who kicked it out to Tobias for that long three. That's a big shot. It's a two-point game. Fans are on their feet. Hillel's going to go to a full court press. You, you're going to go to a press now. You don't have to foul, but if the guy that you want to foul has the ball at any point, you're going to do it. You don't want to foul. That's not it. ball, but Sicklick's able to get it. Steinberg shits the layup. There was a, it looked like we had a chance there, a high pop pass. Here comes the carrier. 53 seconds left to Lel down by four. again. Got it again! Oh my goodness! Oh my What a shot! Goodness. And it's a one point game! Sandy, you thought he wanted the ball in the last possession. He wanted the ball there again, and he nailed it! What a game, guys! This is unbelievable! Morris Tobias has taken over here. Two long threes to give Hillel, to put Hillel within one point. It's 55 54. They were down by 16 in the third quarter. They were down by 16 with three minutes left in the third quarter. It is a one point game 55 54. It is DRS's ball. Morris Tobias just said, you think you're going home easily? Not so fast. You are not going home that easily, Norman. One point game. This crowd is on ball. their feet. One point game. Sicklick has the ball. Brown underneath to Steinberg. Mandel has the ball. Back to Steinberg. Across to Belinsky. Sicklick gets fouled. And that's a foul by Massery. Sicklick will go to the line for two shots. It's two now, Norman. They are in the double bonus, so it is two. Two shots here, but you know yes, what? That wasn't a foul. It's a one point game. Unbelievable. If he hits both, we have a three point game. The crowd is absolutely deafening right now. Sicklick at the line. Hits the first shot. That's a big, big foul shot by Sicklick. Sicklick's a very, very strong shooter, Norman. He hits his shots. You got a box out here. Two point game, 38 seconds. Wow. Rainbow Crush foul shot. Well, is down by three. There are 38 seconds. You do not need to take a three no, here. No, you don't. You could play this back again. Score a quick two. Put them back on the line if you have to and hope they miss one. You don't have to take a three. Obviously, 
if Tobias has any space, you know he's taking that shot. Norman, I, I mean, we're, we're watching this game. I'd be shocked if Tobias doesn't take a three on this possession at any venue. And he's unconscious right now. 38 seconds left. Hillel has made this into a one possession game. They're down by three. 57-54 in a raucous Joel Rishti Memorial. Nobody Stadium. sitting here in the arena. No, but not one person Nobody sitting has in the sat arena. down in the last seven minutes, Sandy. I have not sat down in the last seven minutes. Zvi Goldberg has his starters on. It looks like he's going with Citrin, Menejid, Tobias, Zakaria, and Sutton. He has some three-point shooters out there. Tobias, Sutton, Citrin, Zakaria, all capable of draining a three. You need Tobias and Menejid, if anyone Michael. else takes a three, to crash the boards. 38.4 left. Clock will start now as Sutton grabs the ball. Here's Zakaria. Log three in the corner. Whoa! Eric Citrin hits the three! We are tied, Norman! Tie game! Zach Citrin just trained the three. Hello has tied the game for the first time since it was 11 all. Hello led 13 11, the first tie since the end of the first quarter. 17 seconds left. 14 seconds left. Cyclic. Citrin is masking Valensky. You know they want him to have the ball. They can't get it to him. There's five seconds left. Here's the pass. It's Cyclic. He's fouled there, but he gets away with it. Underneath. Oh, no. And before the buzzer, that captain, he got it off. That is a layup before the buzzer by Zach Brown. No. Wow. Oh, just a heartbreaker for Halal Hishiva. Just a heartbreaking, gut-wrenching loss. That hurts. That hurts. And you got congratulations to DRS and Zach Brown. Hit that layup with one second left on the clock. Halal hit three three pointers in the last minute or so of this game. Two by Tobias and one by Citrin to tie this game. And it was a broken play by DRS. And then Zach Brown was left open underneath for a two foot layup. I'm Norman, speechless uh, right now. As am I. I don't believe that. I thought they got away with a foul. Nah, that Hillel did get away with a foul in that possession. It wasn't called. They did get him the foul. I thought they did, and and he was just wide open. He, he got un open under the basket, hit the layup. That was a uh, wow, Norman. It, 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 it's just crushing. These are seventeen-year-old guys. They live for this. It's such a good group of guys. Citron hit an amazing three-pointer. Two three-pointers by Tobias. Wow. I, I, I mean. And you, you live and die by this, and you work so hard, and you practice for years, and these are mostly seniors, and they tied the game with 30 seconds left. I mean, thank you, thank you, great game. It was a great game, and uh, you know, you can't, it, it's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. You figured uh, going into overtime, at least uh, after that three, and just no words here. Halal had a great season, and uh, I mean, shame it ended that way. You got to credit uh, DRS. They played great. They played like they've been here before, and they have been here before. And they're going to the semis to face TABC. On Halal's side, you got to give credit that they were down 16 and yeah. managed to get H back. Halal showed a lot of fight. They showed a lot of heart like they did all year. They came back, and uh, like you say, DRS... DRS basically had an answer for every every time Halal Rapid. made their run. How about DRS not calling timeout after Halal tied the game and they had a broken play Yo, and they went into, yeah. they went to score. I mean, that's that's unbelievable, uh, unbelievable game. I mean, that's wild, wild, wild finish. Heart just breaks for Halal right now for the kids on the team. Yeah, yeah. They put so much into this. This is a tough one. They fought hard and. Uh, 
I mean, we're gonna have we're gonna have to look back at the film to see what broke down that Zach Brown was wide open underneath the basket. You can see he was wide open, and, and then I, you know, I, I took a look up at the clock and I saw that he had more than enough time yep. to make his layup. He put it up with about 0. .7 to go, so he had, it was uh, more than enough time. You never want to say a buzzer beater is easy, but that's gonna be the easiest buzzer beater you're ever gonna find. That a, 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 oh, it was a broken play. The passes were a little weak. Yeah. Hillel was trying to attack on the ball, and that's what happens on broken plays. A guy gets open, and if you get him the ball, he has an easy shot. Um, Crushing loss, but a, a, you know, a great game nonetheless. Congratulations to DRS. They'll take on TABC in the semifinals for Hillel. Uh, a great career for some of these seniors that are that are finished now. They fought hard tonight, but uh, it just wasn't meant to be for them as they it's lose at home. Dude, are we yeah. not live? A, a tough, tough home loss for Hillel. Brings back memories of 1997 oh, oh, when they were a high seed, the two seed. They lost to the seven. Yeah, that year they lost also their first home game as the, they were the two seed that year uh, back in 97. And, and, and tonight, kind of reminds me of that. This is a, a just second, second. devastating yeah. loss. If you're Mars Tobias and you hit those two threes and you get your team into it and the gym is rocking, or if you're Joe Zaccaria, or if you're Zachy Citrin and you hit that three in the corner to tie the and game. Those guys stepped up at the end. All those guys stepped up. Uh, they clamped down on defense. Like you said, just a broken play at the end and uh, wide open layup. What can you do? What can you do? That's sports. That's life. They fought hard. Two great teams. Congratulations to DRS. We wish them luck. Uh, they're a classy bunch, I'll tell you that. We sat right next to them. Very nice. Really great bunch. And like I said, it starts with the coach. That coach was an absolute gentleman. And uh, the team from 1 to 12, uh, really, really nice boys, came by, to, came by to the table, told us thank you. Um, they, uh, they sh that school should really be proud of their boys. Well, it was a great season, guys. Enjoyed covering Halal with you. Um, it's a shame it has to end, uh, you know, tonight. But that's what it is. We'll be back next year, Adam. Folks, we thank you for joining us once again from the Halal Gym. The thank final you. score, TRS 59, Halal 57. 59, 57, uh, uh, a score that we'll remember for a long time. Thank you to uh, Ezra Gindi for setting up the um, and his team. Um, for setting up this uh, broadcast. And for now, for at least another year, only two banners, two championship banners will remain in LL in a year when many thought we'd be raising a third. Signing off for Jack Zolta.